Grove Street gangster YBN Amir has been getting cooked by the entire internet after Aiden Ross clowned him for requesting 100k to appear in his boxing event. I was gonna get YBN Amir versus Annoying TV, but YBN Amir asked for $100,000, bro. Top literally laughed at the manager and hung up. Like, bro, you rappers that have not made a hit, no disrespect, stop asking for too much money, bro. You are not getting it, bro. You are not getting that shit, bro. No, stop. You'll do it for fucking 10, 15, 20K, bro. That's a lot of fucking money still. Come on, bro. And if you show respect to my event and you do it for that shit, I'll up your shit next, next, next event. It's really that simple, bro. Damn, so the Aiden Ross method got patched already, man. Y'all rappers gotta find a whole new scam now. Now, Mir will see this post, responded to Aiden on IG, flexing a stack of bread, and saying, this nigga Aiden Ross popping it because I ain't want to box for no 20K. Yeah, we said we ain't doing that shit, nigga. Now you're gonna have to box me, Aiden. You asked for it. Nigga, yes, I'm gonna ask for 100K because I ain't need no 20K. Is you tripping? Y'all tag this nigga Aiden Ross and tell him we gonna have to set this up. Then he tags Jake Paul saying, call me cuz. Then he tags Aiden Ross again saying they gonna have to do a big in front of the whole world this thing is doing everything to revive his career like he's calling on the youtube boxing illuminati after the regular illuminati did not want this nigga bro <laughs> like this shit is crazy man he also brought up the recent situation with playboy cardi where he ran off with two million dollars of aiden's money nigga ain't you the same nigga that just paid two million dollars for a nigga to sit next to you don't mention me if it's some bullshit i don't give a f about no free promo no dick holding shit because i'm not that type of nigga I don't care. 20 bands? What the f is that? In a clip that the whole internet saw, Aiden roasted Namir in a response to this post, saying that he fell off again. Same nigga that just paid $2 million for a nigga to sit next to you. Don't mention me if it's some bullshit. I don't give a f about no free promo, no decoding shit, because I'm not that type of nigga. I got it. Namir, oh, Namir, you're not worth $100,000. You fell off. You suck at music. You failed your music career. You know what I'm saying? I got nothing but, I got no, no disrespect to show but that. Uh, Namir, you're nothing, you're nobody, and uh, your career sucks. You, you wanted 100 bands? You want 100 bands to fight. <laughs> you didn't even give Jay 100 what bands. What the fuck? You are nowhere near 100 bands. You know you how you get them? What? Ask him how much he would charge for a feature right now. It's free. Currently. No, he's not. He's charging. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Nigga, well, you ain't charging no nigga 100,000. And again, and again, kick paid Cardi 2 mil. Hey, at least I got 2 mil to pay. You're broke. Namir, that's good exposure for you, bro. I never talked to this nigga, Aiden before like you feel me like even on no boxing type of shit or even dm was always my manager you know, and all that type of shit so um you feel me it was the me and jay shit at first and then he said annoying or something so i'm like okay for sure like either way i'm a i'm a box like fuck it i'm not no boxer or nothing like i don't i never hopped in no ring on the hood like i never did no weird ass shit like that because i'm not a boxer i'm a rapper and he hopped on the phone with my manager my manager was like shit we uh shit we trying to do 100k less and then the nigga laughed at him and hung up the phone. And shit, I was at Disneyland when I seen the shit Aiden was talking about. I was like, what the fuck? Like, why would you even hop up the stream and say, like, yeah, I laughed at his manager 100K. You're not worth 100K. And your music sucks. No disrespect. How the fuck is it no disrespect that you saying my fucking music? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> like, that's you feel crazy. me? Like, nigga, like, what the fuck is you? Like, what is you talking about? So now I do want to beat your ass, but I'm not. It's not forceful. It's not no shit to where it's like, oh, yeah, it's beef. What the fuck is it? Wait, you want to box why Aiden? Yeah, I want to box Aiden. I want to box Aiden. I want to box everybody, to be honest. Yo, we just had Namir get on the fucking stream again. He was uh, he was explaining pretty much how he felt you disrespected him with the boxing offer. And he's like, yo, fuck that. He wants to box you. And he felt he was worth 100000 I, I know you probably didn't see what he said. He was talking crazy. But I, I want to get your, like, you know, rationale in, in, in even dealing with, with Namir and everything. I don't care if he wants to box any millions. So, straight up. I mean, dude, that's like, that would be like, that's like Drake giving a feature to like, how do I put this? That's like Drake giving a feature to fucking, I don't know. You, you would be better at, at, at giving an analogy. I gave him his most relevant day he's had since like 2016. So, I'm not going to talk about it. But if you want to talk about something else, I'm down. In the deleted IG story, Namir promises to catch Aiden lacking in Vice City. It's funny how the topic of how much Namir charges for a feature comes up when it's rumored that it's about between $500 to $1,000. And as you can expect, the internet is completely ruthless when it comes to rappers that people say, quote unquote, fell off. It's comments from people saying that YB and Namir is the only rapper they can go band for band with, saying that he better show up for free and hope he gets a meal, and that he should just give up rapping and get his CDL. <laughs> 
And probably the funniest part of the situation, Namir did an interview with a channel called Witty Apparatus the other day, where he speaks on his experience with fame and gives credit to streamers and content creators. At the end, he claims that he has over 150 hit songs on his phone and could go viral at any time. You blow up off of something, you're gonna keep moving on with it. You're gonna keep doing the most you stream to stay in that line. Like, like, and that's, that's, that's a cold question that you touched on. I mean, a cold topic that you touched on too, because it's always been like, people looked at me like, okay, I'm YB and Amir, why you not number one? Why you not doing this the right way? I always put everybody before me first. So you feel me? That's my difference. A lot of people put they self first and don't understand the image that they put in off with the that they put out. Like you feel me? It can make you look cool. It can make you look like a nerd. It can make you look like a f It can make you look all these type of ways. But once you put it out, you put it out. I really don't step into that lane. Like I'm not no streaming type of nigga for real. Like I watch the desktop streams. I watch Neon and all them type of niggas and that's just not my lane, though. You feel me? But it, it, it's just crazy. Like, it's, it's crazy. It ain't, it ain't nothing. I ain't, ain't no shit. Because niggas is doing their thing. And that's cool that them niggas is famous and viral. Getting their bread, getting their check, whatever. It's just not my lane, for real. You guys did have your time. And in, like, 2017, 2018, I mean, you guys were, you were on the freshman list. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you for sure. sell freshman list. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. Like, when yeah. you really think about it. It's crazy. albums, doing it big, man. Sometimes, I, say sometimes I still can't even believe it. Sometimes I sit back and just be like, damn, like I'm really famous. Like I really like move my whole family and all that type of shit. I'm on magazines and shit. They playing me on the radio. I'm like, damn, what the f I'm not even paying attention to this. This is my voice on the radio. Like it'd be unreal sometimes. And I did everything that I wanted to do at a young age. So I slowed down these past years. I, just, I started drinking and it drowned. It made me feel like, damn, like. You're right, you're just living day by day. But recently I was starting to slow down with the drink and uh, understand life for what it is. And I know it's a bigger purpose. Like I always knew it was a bigger purpose. It was nothing that changed with that. I just been behind the scenes, really just working on my life before I could really put that step on it. Like, nigga, I'm mad. Cause I, it ain't to make a song. I got it's right now. I got like over 150 years just sitting in my phone. Like, Jimmy, I know how to go viral. It's nothing. I started at this shit. It's nothing for me to do. If I wanted to go viral tomorrow, I could do it. <laughs> I understand betting on yourself when nobody believes in you, but man, at some point, you gotta just know when to switch gears. This nigga's probably the only rapper that I know that's stuck in 2017. And to make matters worse, I'm hearing he's scamming his fans for IG promos and verses. He should've just taken that 20K and got some free promo out of it. But let me know what y'all think about this entire situation in the comments, man. It was pretty entertaining. I got a few videos coming out for y'all before the month ends, so make sure y'all keep them notifications on. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the sub button. It's Fargo. And I'm out, man. All right, all right. How you, I'm going to let you talk. How you went from GD to Crip? How I went from GD to Crip? It happened. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> there is no way on no way. You joking? Bro, you didn't even. Christ, there is no fucking way you just said.